Written by William Henry Mann. It's by John Kastner. Fourth question. Is this easy story true or fiction? How do you know? One afternoon, April was doing her homework when her father bought her a present. He handed her a funny look, looking plant. Hold a picture plant. This is a special plant. He took her. It is insect. Wow, April replied. That's cool. April took the plant up to her room and set it on the window sill. She wanted it to get some sun. I name you Harold, she said to the plant. She began to look at the little book that came with the plant. She showed picture of flies and spiders being eaten by the plant. April learned that she was always supposed to see Harold once a week. April went downstairs and outside. She looked around the yard and found a small ant hill. She caught some ants in a jar and took them to her room. April poured the ants into the plant tank and waited. One ant crawled into the plant pitcher and got stuck. It was trapped by her at the side of the pitcher. April drew the way Harold ate it that were very strange, but she liked him. On her way out of her room, she grabbed some jelly beans from the jar and her dresser. Harold saw this and wondered what a jelly bean might taste like. Flies and ants are nice, but the red jelly bean would be very nice. The next time, Harold saw April bring some ants. He drew about the jelly bean she always ate. He wanted the red one, but when she opened the lid, were just more ants, a lid there with a spicy red kind. The next week, April drew Harold a flat, wiggly worm. He dropped the worm straight into his pitcher. It was a nice treat for Harold after all he ate eating plants and for the last few weeks, but she still wanted the red jelly bean. A week later, April bought Harold's more insects. Harold drew about jelly beans. He drew and drew as hard as he could. Jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans. He repeated the drew over and over. April ate a couple of jelly beans before feeding Harold more insects. When April opened the lid to Harold's home, she only had a couple of small spiders. Harold was disappointed that she didn't feed him a red jelly bean, but he was very hungry. He felt grateful that April fed him so well, yet he really wanted a jelly bean. That night, when April was going to bed, she ate a jelly bean before brushing her teeth. Then she took another one, a red one, and planted it into Harold's pitcher. Harold was so excited that his lips began to shake. The jelly bean was smooth and kind of hard. As it sat inside the pitcher, it became soft and sticky. The flavor began to ooze out. It tasted so sweet, so wonderful. He felt himself glowing with joy. The next day, April noticed that Harold looked happy. Hi there, Harold, she said. You sure look happy today. Did you like the jelly bean? Harold tried to smile by curling one of his lips. He felt very happy. He really enjoyed the jelly bean. From that day on, Harold got one direct jelly bean each week. It was a meat with a treat between regular meals. He grew bigger and stronger. Soon he was big enough to eat crickets and grasshopper. April and Harold were good friends. Harold even got to school go to school with her once for show and tell. That day he only got a cricket to eat. A couple of days later through he got a green jelly bean. Wow, Sue's Harold. All the colors are tasty. As much as Harold loved all the colored jelly beans, red one where he still his favorite. Connection. Writing. Write about how the story might be different if April had not given Harold what he wants. Sign. Make a poster showing how to care for the plants. Because the picture is at least three ideas. Good job.